Hi, my tens of viewers. Well, I've only got one question for you. Why do YouTube viewers hate adorable puppies? You all passed the test. Nobody fell for my adorable puppies video. Yeah, that's right. It was a test. Okay, here's what happened. A friend of mine said to me a couple of weeks ago, you know, you can keep vlogging all you want, but the bottom line is, you're never going to get as many hits as somebody who uploads, like, cuddly kittens or something. So I thought, okay, I'm going to test the theory. And voila! Ooh, what a bomb. No more puppy videos. Doesn't mean we're not going to have more Charlie videos. Charlie will be making an occasional appearance in all Nerd Chick videos. I do, however, apologize for trying to exploit her cuteness and raise my ratings. Um, message received. It will not happen again. Sorry. in school, the only thing that people took from a nerd was like your lunch money, your lunch, or the answers off your paper? Well, it seems now all the fashion to steal from nerds. I'll give you an example. One of my favorite shows, Craig Ferguson on CBS, has a new catch line. And what is that catchphrase? In your pants. In your pants. In your pants. Does that sound familiar to any of the other nerd people out there? The other thing that's really crazy now, fashionistas are stealing from nerds with a new look called Nerd Chic. It's the horn rim glasses and bow ties and I mean, come on, what's next? Designer pocket protectors? As they say, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. So that's really not what's bothering me. Nor is the fact that my normally very inexpensive glasses will now cost me twice as much as they used to because they're hip. No, here's what bothers me. After the fashionistas decide that it's not in fashion anymore, well, now I'm not a nerd. I'm just out of fashion. And that's, like, way worse. Well, even I can't believe I didn't start with this, although it's not that big a deal, but... Doctor Who is coming to the United States! You heard me right, people. In 2011, the TARDIS is landing in the colonies. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to be New York or L.A. or Chicago or Boston or Phoenix or San Francisco. I think you know where I'm going here. No, in their infinite wisdom, they've decided that the TARDIS is going to land in Utah. Now, this is the very first time that Doctor Who has been filmed in the United States. Now, I know what all you Doctor Who nerds are saying out there, but wait a minute. The 1996 movie with the Eighth Doctor took place in San Francisco, and you would be correct. However, it was actually filmed in Canada, so it don't count. Season 6 is all set to start airing on BBC America in 2011 in spring, and I don't know about you guys, but I am going to be glued to my TV. So I've been at this vlogging thing for a couple of months, and what's interesting is that my viewership is actually uh, declining. A little depressing. It's okay. And I was trying to figure out, well, what's going on? I said, other than, you know, really bad bangs, what's the problem? It's either, number one, I'm just too freaking old to be on YouTube, and the people that would actually be my viewers don't know how to turn on a computer. Or, number two, which is sadly the more likely choice, I just suck at this. So here's what I decided to do. Nothing. Because I don't care. I'm used to being ignored. I'm used to kind of being considered strange. Trust me, if any of you knew anyone in my family, you'd know. I was the strange one. The bottom line is, it's fun. And that's what YouTube is supposed to be. For me it is, anyway. When I watch it, when I do it, it's fun. It's a hoot. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And if I get viewers, great. If I don't get viewers, I always have Charlie. <coughs> there actually is a word for somebody who doesn't mind being strange, doesn't mind being ignored, and does things sometimes that are weird just for the fact that they're fun. And that word, my friends, nerd. Nerd.